Welcome back to Satisfactory version 1 and it is already episode 9 so don't hesitate to check in the video description below if you want to see the full playlist. For beginners and experts I cover it all. Today we are definitely going to finish phase 1 of the elevator. As you can see we have 50 out of 50 of our smart plating. We automated that production in the last episode so I'm sure we have more than 50 actually. But there's also quite a few other things I want to do. I want to find some SAM, I want to find some Caterium, and I want to build a lot of things. So let's get building in the equipment workshop. We unlock in the last episode the Blade Runner. It takes 20 silica, but apart from that, you know, it's everything that we have, so all good. And this is going to enable us to really go faster and also dampen the impact of landing. So basically you lose less health. That's really important. And we want to also make a rebar gun. I did say in the previous episode, I don't love it. But see, I'm going to build it so we can, you know, we have it. And we also can use it from time to time. And I'll show you how it works. You do need to create some rebar, so some ammunition if you wish, right? We start with only the iron one. And then in the future, we gain uh, many others. And then lastly, we also unlocked in the previous e episode, the protein inhaler. And I think some people uh, were looking for it in your craft bench. It's not in the craft bench. It's actually in the equipment workshop. It is using the protein, not the uh, DNA capsule for this one, just the protein. And then in this case, you know, we have the berry nuts. And here we are. We're going to make a couple. So this is again to help us with our health, right? So instead of eating a berry nut, which is restore half uh, of a health segment, half of this, right? This one is going to give you a lot more, right? It restore basically your full health. So that's really an important one. So then let me show you, I mean, for the Blade Runners, like this is the speed without the Blade Runners. Now let's put the Blade Runners on my legs, obviously. And hopefully, I hope you can see we're going a lot faster and we're actually going higher too. So that's pretty cool. That's going to enable us you know, to move a lot easier in the map. Then let's put our gun here, right? We are going to take this. Okay, so here is the rebar. Now you press R to load or reload. Uh, we need to find an enemy. There's no enemy here. I'm sure there's a... A mine somewhere over here. In the meantime, don't hesitate to tell me if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, right? Things you want to see in the pre next few episodes. I'm really happy to, to hear all of your comments. I do record a couple of episodes in advance usually, so your answer may come, you know, in, in two or three episodes, but still, oh, here it is perfect. We can get that one. And so you shoot, you know, if you're too far, you saw it uh, landed a bit lower, right? Um, so you, you shouldn't be that far and this guy is scared of me but one oh that's a small bug okay <laughs> so one and he, he will get killed so it's obviously a lot stronger anybody else that wants to fight over here maybe let's reload actually no nobody okay that's fine so yeah that's the rebar again but as you saw it takes a while for it to recharge and we got lucky these guys they run away from you right most of the time if it was the ones that are running towards you or if it was spiders for example i would have never been able i think to to shoot at them uh well so yeah we got lucky here uh what is that i thought there was maybe a, a cave with something but no anyway so that is right the blade runner over here the rebargain and the protein inhaler. So let's go back to the base, and in particular, because I forgot the first objective, which was more energy. In the last few, actually, especially in the last episode, we had some problem with the energy. We were producing uh, or consuming too much energy, and also, uh, you know, sometimes it was getting to zero. Ah, we can try that one. This is iron, yeah. But this is the same guy, so that's fine. They are easy to kill. Um, so yeah, we had problem of energy. So I have started to expand. We have now even more. I think we're uh, at 13 now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the other, it's one more. So that's seven, that's 13. The max on one belt is actually 15, if I remember correctly. Because we're talking about four per minute. 
right? So four per minute time. I mean, I could make put a, a belt mark two, but on a belt mark one, that is that. And this is actually also aligned to one of these, right? One of these can make 60 per minute. You can see right now it's working 100% because I do have a lot of reserves uh, of wood and of... Oh no, actually this one is empty now. But we do have a lot of wood and the wood is producing a lot. So that's fine. Uh, let's check actually, by the way, also over here. Do we have any reserves? Yeah, we have a lot of reserves there. So that's perfect. So yeah, we have more energy. That's... <laughs> That's the conclusion. And again, you can put 15 of these on one line if you want the maximum. Let's move. Let's continue to move in our objectives. I know we're making good progress, but because I want to get to the interesting stuff, we're going to move to the phase one elevator. And we have 50 out of 50. That's going to enable us. Oh, I need to go back up. Sorry. To enable us to. Um, unlock tier 3 and tier 4 so that's an important one but before we do a lot of tier 4 and tier 3 research i do want to find some sam and some caterium we may do some research some of those tiers in this episode we'll see together so it is right we have the smart plating going in actually have yeah not that much but we have enough so let's go now to the front. I mean, you don't have to go to the front. You can go anywhere you want. But I feel like we, you know, it's better to, to go here on the actual space elevator platform. And here we have completed so the 50. So we can seal it. It's taking a second to be sealed. And then we can soon. Oh. Ada, what are you going to say? Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 1 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 1 will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of Phase 1, the technologies of Tiers 3 and 4 will become available in the hub. Highlights are automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Completing Phase 2 of Project Assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore and exploit for a better fix-it future. You can do it! So yes, we have a lot, definitely a lot more in Phase 2 than in Phase 1. Phase 1 is really the pure tutorial, right? But if you were able to do phase one, if you're following this series, don't worry. You're going to be able to do it all. Look at this. It's starting. Look at these animations. Oof. And boom. To the sky. And we have now a platform. This is completely new. This is only the beginning of project assembly, the first step towards saving the day. <laughs> you have performed adequately so far. Thank no you. Wonder, not only is Fixit saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. It is statistically likely <laughs> that you appreciate the continued existence of kittens and or puppies. Ah, oh, so Continue true. The work for their sake. Continue the work for Fixit. It is time to start the work on phase two of project assembly. So as we discussed, right, assembly level two is a lot more complex. You need 1000 of smart plating. So if you didn't automate it for phase one, you definitely will have to automate it for phase two. We also need 1000 of their style framework and then 100 automated wiring. All of these we can't do right now, but you know, we can keep a small, what is it? Four per minute. We can keep that going, right? That's, that's a, a no brainer, let's say. And now let's move back to the hub so I can show you what uh, tier 3 and tier 4 do have to offer in a bit more detail before we get to uh, building some new small bases, right, for SAM and Caterium. Okay. And if you missed it in the previous episode, we already made a small base for Quartz. So, you know, quickly we will have a small base for each of those special resources. We are missing Sulfur, but most of them already are there. Tier 3. 
First one, call power. We're going to want that one ASAP. You know, spoiler alert, this is definitely our next episode. I mean, next episode, I'll show you how to make a huge, efficient call power generation, um, you know, plant. So we're going to select that one. And that comes not only with, you know, power generation, that also comes with our first pipes for fluids. So that's the fluid mechanics that's important. Then we have vehicle transport. It's our first... Uh, tractor our first vehicle right before we only had either wheel moving or we have you know belts now we can transport resources with automated routes between truck station so that's also pretty important basic steel production we have the copper we have the iron now we're going to unlock the steel and that comes actually not even in the foundry the, uh, not in the smelter that comes in the foundry you're going to be able to make at the beginning steel beam, steel pipes and versatile framework. In the future, there's many, there's actually even others. And this is really important. Enhanced asset security, Xenobasher, that's an important, it's a, what I call the sword. Um, that's one we're going to want ASAP. And actually, we can even do it maybe today. And then tier four, wait, what? Tier two it doesn't look finished. It's strange that it's still blue. Uh, not blue white when i finished it but anyway uh fix it blueprint is in tier 4 logistic mark 3 advanced steel production which is new things related to steel including the automated wiring of our uh, third part for the elevator but also minor mark 2 where we're going to double the minor production expanded power infrastructure to have those power towers and storage and then lastly hypertube so that we can start moving across all of our factories by the way i think in the next episode i said we're going to make a coal power plant i think this will be our first actual factory with walls and everything so i'm going to also use you know some of my coupons for it but yeah uh, before let's do now sam and caterium so maybe let me write it here so i don't forget next and you don't forget net is coal power plant with actual walls <laughs> uh, signs etc okay so sam and caterium now i'm not gonna lie to find sam into the game when it's your first time is gonna be very hard so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to use the satisfactory map i i will put of course the map in the video description below if you've never found it but you can also just you know google it you'll find it easily so with this map this interactive map you can see the whole map we are over here by the way if you're wondering all right and you can choose what you want to do to look for you know let's say i'm looking for slugs you can see all of the slugs or i mean let me take out what is already there actually so that it becomes a bit uh, less crowded so yes you can see nothing or you can see many things in this case as we said we want to find some sam or so there's not that many and most of the time it's hidden so for example or hard to access for example here there is one there that is just a bit further you know you may remember over here we have our uh, quartz so we could have gotten there you know it's not that far but it is actually underground and you need the nobelix to get there so i cannot get there there is another one over there which maybe we can get there to be honest i haven't checked if i can or not and then there is one over there so i'm gonna try and i'll tell you when i'm there which one you know is possible on the other hand for the caterium we can press v and select the caterium or and it's going to then appear on the map I actually even found one when I, when I was looking for uh, some uh, wood, which was over here. So I did walk a bit uh, over there in, the, you know, in between the last episode and this one. I walk a bit there to find some wood and I found some caterium. And it is actually, I think, the closest. I mean, this one is also not that far. I think mean, this one will be easiest. So we're going to build a caterium mine there. And therefore, I think the Sam one that we're going to check is the one that was over here. Right. So let me walk all the way there. Maybe, you know, I'll do it in a quick time lapse so you, you, you see how to get there. But basically, you know, it's over here. You can see the, the topography of the terrain. Right, It shows you you can climb here. Uh, we're going to take, obviously, the resources needed to make it happen, right? to, to build a small base there. 
Uh, actually, I'm wondering if maybe we'll be build the base at the bottom. We'll see. Um, and then, yes, then after I will walk also more to the south. Okay, it is easy and gents, quick and dirty, but we have the miner over here, this is miner mark 1 on normal, so 60 per minute, then it is split to have 30 and 30 on each, so it's not working at 100%, it's working at 66.66, so basically two thirds, right, so that we're taking 30 on each, making 10, so we're going to make 20 of those ingots, then it's being merged, and I'm sending it down, because you know basically i want to be able to then gather it quickly and not have to go back up um and the the thing though is you know we're not going to really do much thing with those ingots we're going to want to build constructors in the future but i haven't unlocked the recipe to transform the ingots into basically quick wires um i did forget you know about electricity so that's my bad <laughs> uh, let's do that uh, no need to be overly complex, right? For now, at least, so we're gonna put that one here, and then we can bring that one down with us. We lost some health, but it's not too bad. So let's see. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, we can have you know one. Actually, let's see, because this is pretty high, so it probably need to be somewhere here. Huh? Okay. To be flat. Yeah. Let's put one more here. Yeah. Okay. Then go down. And again, in the future, we'll make an actual factory over here to transform these resources into something else. For now, I just want to store them so that I can have enough to do the next part. Okay. Uh, should I bring? Uh, let's bring it quickly. It's gonna take me a second. I'll do that, you know, quick and dirty, because I want this to start. So hopefully, by the time we're finished with the sand, we can actually have enough caterium and maybe do the next part of the caterium expansion. Okay, we're almost there. And let's go here in the corner. Where is my? Oh, it's there. Sorry, my bed. Okay, so they should have brought electricity. Let's check how's my. No, not too bad. Love it. So we have now electricity on this one, and as I said, I want to then continue south. Right. Oh, I don't know if it's south. Yeah, it's sort of south. Yeah, you can see it on on the top there. Right. I have my compass, so it's pretty much south to go somewhere over here. You know, and like I did just before, you can put, uh, you know, a stamp. I'm gonna remove this one, and you can also highlight it so that you see it on the map, and then you can run to it. Uh, I do want to check that this is green. I will see if we have something that starts coming down in one minute or if I forgot uh, something somehow. I think I didn't make a mistake, but nothing is coming yet. I mean, it's only 10 per minute, but still. 
Ah, here it is. First one coming. So maybe it's not working fully, but I see two fumes, so my two smelters should be working. Okay, let's go. So we have arrived in the new biome here, as you can see, right? We are sort of leaving over here. This is the limit of the dune desert, or actually the, the dunes, right? Um, and you've also seen, hopefully, if you are watching carefully, the first time killing these big guys, these are definitely stronger, way stronger. Uh, they attack you and, and they go, uh, they run quite fast, actually. If, uh, you know, you see one without Blade Runners, you, you're quite in trouble. Uh, there's also a lot of mycelia over here, right? You can see all of those things here, they give mycelia. So uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's another big one there. Damn. Um, I was trying to get a bit further. Oh, there's a mercosphere there. But let's not get it. Let's continue on our way. I'm pretty sure the Samo is somewhere over here. I don't know if we're going to be able, you know, to, to get there because there's a lot of gases. These guys are going to kill us. Oof. Actually, I just lost uh, in some health, uh, but we're going to try. We're going to try to go there. And again, I don't have right now access to, you know, the scanning for Sam Hall, so I don't know exactly where it is. And that's the problem. <laughs> if I knew, I could find it. This is cool. It's not Sam Hall. But yeah, let's try to go up this side. Maybe let's just build a bridge to get there. Okay, so we're back up. Let's go up this ramp and hopefully we can find somewhere the Sam Or. Still don't know exactly where it is, right? I mean, you could Google it. So sure, there's a YouTuber out there that has put the location of all of them, but oh, these are strong guys. Again, I'm a bit scared. Because look at this, they're gonna run fast. And then it's hard to avoid them. Eesh, see, even when I jump, it can get me. Ouch! And the worst is if he throws me off. Oof. Can I get back my... Yeah, you can get back your... <laughs> okay, let's try to... Oof, we're too close. Where is this Sam Or? The worst thing is I could spend a lot of time just looking for it. Okay, so it took me a few minutes, but I found it. Look, it's over there at the bottom of this cave. And you don't need anything to go into this cave like it's open. Let me show you exactly where it is if you want to find it yourself. It's actually not that hard. I was um, very close, but it was under me. <laughs> so here it is. You can see over here, uh, there's my space elevator, right? Uh, quite far. It's all over here. So here it is, right? You have the dune desert. So instead of going that way, like I did, actually go around here and then go over here. So this is exactly here that the uh, the uh, cave is. The cave is exactly over here. So we're gonna highlight this one, going to remove that one and that one. So yeah, uh, we found it and it's actually, you know, not that hard to access even from the floor. You know, there's no need to jump or anything like this. So it's pretty cool. Now there is a lot of spider inside. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna die. Um, the Xeno Zapper is not that great. 
and the rebar is also probably not gonna be super efficient in this but we're gonna try you know if we die we die uh, maybe what i'm gonna do though is put all of my equipment over here so if i die it'll be easier to come get it back uh, organization personal storage box so you know like what do i keep i mean uh let's store it all oh there's not enough space sorry my bad uh i need to keep this and that uh, make a second one store it all store that the only thing we probably want is maybe i'll keep this inhaler and i'll keep these rebars you know to try to fight so we have two and then we have the inhaler there okay let's try let's try and don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you know of a way to kill spiders without advance i mean we're gonna get the sword very soon but still so let's try to aim a bit higher nice actually that was good so there is the gravity right so you need to aim slightly higher Ooh, i'm actually good at this I'm too far for them to like fear me. There are more, I'm sure there's more than four. Four doesn't seem like a lot. It's probably they're probably hiding somewhere. At the bottom and they're gonna jump me. No, is that the end? Uh, there's still quite a long way to go. Let me get this. This is the last one. Samples of unknown alien species acquired. Initial data suggests these are predators, but notably they do not have a traditional mouth or eyes. There are, however, numerous cavities on their head which could fulfill a similar function. Research the remains in the MAM to establish Ooh, that's a big one. potential countermeasures. Oh, I'm pretty sure this one can jump. Wow. Oh. Oh, you see me? No. I think that's a bit of a cheat, but, you know, I'll take it. Especially for us to get access to Sam Hall one time. Come on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is that the last one? I think so. Let's get closer. I hate spiders. And here we are. Sam. Impure. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. The strange alien matter, colloquially known as Sam, seems to be in its dormant crystalline state, meaning it won't break down your body into its base atomic components on touch. <laughs> this living That's good. matter is extremely versatile and has countless applications. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application, as well as a secure method of awakening. Okay, so I need to get my resources back so that I can actually build a miner. And then it's not going to be that easy to bring everything back up. I guess we're going to build a very ugly looking... Uh, belt but i'm happy we found some sam and we didn't die at least not yet again don't hesitate to tell me if you found and here if there's other spiders it would be bad but actually should we check where this leads we should get a warning if there's a spider somewhere. Oh, that looks... Oh, I thought that was a spider. <laughs> Let's get for a second. <laughs> there's nothing else. Can I jump here? Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? 
I'm lost. Oh, is that the... I'm still in the same place. So I'm trying to go back up. Uh, here it is. Ah! Damn you! Damn you. Okay. So this time, make sure we don't fall. And let's build our first miner on some ore. Oh, we're gonna need electricity too. Damn! Oh god. It's probably a way to just make a few. On the other hand, for the belt, we're gonna need. So this is only 30 because it's impure, so definitely mark one. Totally fine. Okay, I know this is pretty ugly. Feel free to tell me in the comments below. Uh, I don't want to have wood clipping through the walls, no? Let's try to avoid this. But we don't have to... We can take some shortcuts like this. <laughs> Similarly, up and this goes here. Okay, next one. Can probably go on the other side. Same for this. Oh, there's a... Stone in the way. Yeah. No clipping through the rocks. That is forbidden. It would still work, you know, if you're new to such physical, it would still work, but it's just, it's cheating in my opinion. <laughs> Should not clip through things. Okay. And yeah, it's going to take forever for the Sam <laughs> to arrive. Oh, we're getting some. Okay. So I think what we're going to do for now is just a very simple storage container over here. So I think now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, connect it to the rest of the network so it starts, and then come back here and also on the other place to take both a bit of Caterium and a bit of SAM to start doing some of the next uh, MAM research. And I'll see you in the next episode for as planned our next coal power plant with the actual walls and everything, but also for some MAM research as we just discussed. Thank you for watching, smash like button, and I hope to see you next time.